What's up guys, my name is Cobbs and welcome back to my GT7 playthrough. We're going to be continuing with the cafe of course and I think we have an interesting menu book for this one. It's rally cars. Wow, okay. So we've got a Peugeot, we've got an Audi Sport Quattro and we've got Ford Focus. This menu requires you to collect GRB cars which are designed for use on all sorts of surfaces. In other words, you're looking for high performance, versatile racing cars, comfortable going off road. I'll tell you more once you've reported back to me, having acquired all three, good luck. Well, we just need dirt tires and 700 PP. Do we have a rally car? Oh, we do have this. Yeah, we might as well use the rally car we already have, right? This one, it's quite cool, I guess. Dirt over here, okay. Maybe we should upgrade it just a little bit, give it a turbo, because uh, 700 is the max PP. Can we get a turbo? We can. 788 horsepower, that damn. All right, let's lower the, can we lower the ride height? I think we can lower the ride height a little bit. Can we lower the, oh, we can. Why is it 190? Does it have to be high? What happens if we just slam it down? Is that better for rally or is that worse? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's just slam it down to the ground pretty much. Two laps, let's do it. This should be fun. Let's go inside the car. Sounds like a beast. I would assume a low ride height is, go is good or is better even for rally, but I, I'm not sure. Okay, solid. Oh my god, All right. It's only two laps, so we gotta be quick. All right, we really need to catch up. Oh god. Nice. That is a massive wing on that Peugeot. Got a Mustang. Oh shit. No, what is the wing that I have on this 86? What the hell? It's like two wings. It's like a wing on top of another wing. That's crazy, yo. Come on. All right, first is right there. Nice, shit. Gotta go for that overtake. Really need to go for this overtake. Yes. Oh god, that is a big jump. Oh my days. All right, we're clear. And we just got to finish the race. All right, this is a big one. Zaya. Oh, this is the final. Oh, okay, we've done it. I think the rally cars they don't really lower them too much because then it's just gonna keep hitting the dirt like the body of the car is gonna keep hitting the dirt but uh, yeah well we won the sport quattro pikes peak nice little rally car all right let's try the one on sardinia first five laps what well i think this is a smaller track so it's okay Got the WRX. I love the Impreza. The Impreza WRX STI. It's a really nice car. I really like it. But the normal WRX. Oh my god. The normal WRX. The like the modern one. I like the the classic one, the Impreza. I don't really like the new one too much. Okay, five laps is quite a lot, I feel like. I think it's better if you don't go on the grass and you just stay on the dirt. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but oh my god, he... 
Oh no! It's like going off the track in a real, in a, on the road, like off the road, right? Like this is the main road, the, the dirt, so we should stay on the dirt, right? I might be faster, you know, if I stay on the dirt. But we don't have to, like, there's not much difference, I think. The grass and the dirt. I can't imagine doing this in real life, like, imagine doing this in real life and, like, it would be quite scary, especially on those jumps. Because what if the car flips over, you know what I'm saying? You gotta land it properly. I think usually they might slow down on the jumps before they do the jump. Maybe that's what I should do here as well. Alright, we really gotta overtake. We go for that overtake. No. Alright, here we go, on the overtake, going for the overtake from the inside, yes, oh god, okay, we did it, and we're just gonna maintain it, no, I think it's better if the car doesn't go in the air, <laughs> just keep it on the ground. And we've done it. Let's go. Damn. 65k. We have over a million credits now. That's pretty good. I mean, you can get a lot more, but, you know, it's good for tuning cars and stuff. You always need some credits. Alright, I think there's one more race for this menu book. Alsace. Is this dirt? Oh, it's not dirt. It's just racing. Wait, it's not... <laughs> it's not, uh... Rally track? So why is it called Rally World Rally Challenge then? Isn't rally supposed to be on the dirt? But well, the rival cars are rally cars, so maybe we should use a rally. 588 horsepower. Quicker than the 86 that we have as well. And it's a rally. A rally car. Okay, I think this is the fastest rally car we have right now. But it has racing hard tires for some reason. We win the Ford Focus rally car if we complete this. Oh no! Why is the final stretch? No! Oh my god, we're gonna have to retry. Damn it. Well, we're gonna have to... They're gonna give us the... The gift card. The Ford Focus rally car. Not too shabby. That's crazy, man. Like, what is this handling on this car? It's kind of... Maybe it's just too light. It's only like a thousand kg. Every time I'm braking and it's like really strong brakes, it wants to spin out because it's just so light. Gotta be really careful on the throttle with no traction control. Just all right. Where's the fireworks? There was fireworks last time for some reason. Come on, one more lap. Should be able to overtake this guy. Hopefully. So there's the fireworks. I don't know why. Maybe because of the race. They're just doing fireworks. No. Alright. We've done it. We've done it. Congratulations. We've got all three cars. Okay, once you've collected, okay, let's see what Luca has to say about Group B rally cars. I said GRB last time, but it's Group B. Rally cars are built for rallies, time trial races, which take place on public roads. Here we have the Peugeot 205 Turbo 16 Evolution 2. 
what a name, and the Audi Quattro S1 Peak Pikes Peak. Both are legendary rally race cars that were on top of the game in the 1980s. While rallying is enjoyed all over the world today, do you know where it all began? I really don't. The sport has origins in the Middle Ages in a ritual where knights rushed or rallied to their lords. Okay. Modern rallying is an attempt to recreate this ritual in the automotive age. The world's first ever rally was the Monte Carlo rally held in 1911. Participants would set off from cities all over Europe to meet or rally in Monaco. Rallying soon spread beyond the European continent and before long, it was the global motorsport we know today. All right, we have a Ferrari collection now. Oh, we already have two of the three Ferraris that we have to collect. So we have the 458 Italia. Ferrari is known world over for its logo, the Cavallino Rampant or Little Prancing Horse in Italian. For this menu, you'll be collecting three different Ferraris, the 308 GTB from 1975, the 458 Italia from 2009, and the F12 Berlin Nella from 2012. It should be very enjoyable. The very existence of these machines is somewhat legendary after all. I've got a lot more to say about Ferrari, but why don't you collect the cars first and we'll take it from there. All right, let's go and do the races. I guess there's only one race because we already have two of the cars, so we only need to do one race now. It's the Autodrome Lego Maguire on the Ferrari Circuit Challenge. All right, we'll use the 458 because it's the faster one that we have. 700 pp or less, our max, we ha okay, we have 698 pp. Just one race, I guess. Didn't even put a wing on it. We didn't do anything to it. But we might need to do that. But we already started the race, so. That was weird. The way I downshifted. There was like no engine sound. Okay, and we just gotta overtake everyone in the top four or in the top three. They are all Ferrari 458s as well, I think. Oops. Why are you hitting into me, bro? Come on. Yes. And we got the F12 Berlinetta from 2012. Quite a cool Ferrari, I would say. And for some reason, it's not red. I thought all the Ferraris are red, but <laughs> most of them are red, right? It's like their iconic color. Congrats, you've got all three cars. Once you collected, okay, we've got rewards. We've got a new circuit 24 hour demon. There's something very special about getting your hands on a Ferrari. Yeah, of course, it's a freaking Ferrari. This 308 GTB from the 1970s was the company's first two-seater midship V8. Damn, it's a V8. One of its successors is the 458 Italia, another much-loved V8 machine. Ferrari is well known for using V12 engines in its high-end cars. Damn. And I'm sure you've heard the way the F12 Berlinetta roars. It sounds just like a Ferrari racing car. Ferrari's founder Enzo Ferrari used to be a racing driver in his youth, and he also proved himself to be a at running a racing team. In 1947, he established his own car company, naming it after himself. It's kind of weird. And Ferrari have been competing in Formula One ever since the championship was established in 1950. No other car manufacturer has managed that. Ferrari focus on producing F1 cars, racing cars, and extremely high performance sports cars. They're produced in limited numbers and are far from cheap, which is why getting your hands on one is special, of course. Don't F1 cars have like uh, V12 engines? What What is there? 
F1 cars engine. Like, what are their engines? V6 engines in F1? Is it really? I thought they have like V12 or something. I don't even know. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And make sure to hit the notification bell down below to stay notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.